the headboard I'm working on right now will be a full size headboard and here's the measurement. Now I'm just going to mark the size that I want on this headboard. The squares that I'm making is a little big but if you want it a little smaller you could do your own adjustments. Now I'll be using a drill bit to drill right through the wood so I'm able to pull the strings through it. Once I'm done drilling all the holes, I'll be gluing the half inch foam on the sides all around. I like to spray the foam glue on the wood and the foam as well so it sticks well. The top of the foam should be even with the top of the wood so you don't have to trim it. It'll save you time from trimming it twice. Now I'll be using a foam Bosch cutter to trim the bottom all around. So I'll be gluing the 1 inch foam together since it's a big piece. I like to work on one side first and then going to the other side afterwards. It makes it a lot easier to gluing it. The most important part is gluing where the side edge is so it doesn't shift around. Now you want to cut the foam even with the side of the foam. This is the type of string I'll be using to pull the buttons down. Now I'll be using a 1 inch foam saw to cut out the hole. You could even just use your scissors since it's just 1 inch foam, it's not that thick. Now I'm just using a 12 inch needle to poke out the holes and mark it with a marker. After finish drilling the holes, I'll be using a thin layer of fiber to give it a nice soft feel to it. Now I'm just cutting the holes out so it makes it a lot easier when I'm pulling the string through. So this is the measurement that I'll be using, but the most important part is you have to use the 2.5 inch centimeters for the sewing area. Now you're just going to sew where you mark 2.5 inch centimeters. So the part where you angle the fabric inwards, that's where you're going to be tying the strings. So when you sew the fabric inwards like that, it'll give you a nice deep look to it when you're pulling the strings down. So this part you keep sewing the two and a half inch centimeters. Now I'm gonna use my needle to poke through the fabric. This is for buttonless tufted style, but if you're using buttons, you could do that afterwards. Now I'm just knotting the string so it doesn't run around. Now I'm just going to staple the strings like a Z letter. I like to poke the holes in one line first and then staple all at the bottom one time. So I always like to lock a few staples where the stitching is first and then start fixing it afterwards again.
After stapling all where the stitching is, I like to start stapling everything down. So this part here is an example where I'm just going to readjust. I'm just cutting extra fabric around the corner so it's not as thick. This part here I'm measuring so it's consistent all around the bottom. Now I'm just using cardboard to make sure it's all consistent again when I'm stapling it. Now I'm just using a thin layer of foam so it gives it a nice soft feel to it. And finally, I'm just stapling a black dust cover to hide all the materials. Thank you for watching till the end, I really do appreciate it, and if you don't mind, can you give us a big thumbs up? Thank you, bye.